Hi there, and welcome to day four of the Beauty Blogger Advent Calendar. Uh, if you haven't been following along, you can check out my blog post about it at uh, fueledbymakeup.com. It should be under the day one, and it would be the intro. I got a link back in all my other posts. So today, um, I, Cassie, <laughs> will be talking about contouring products. Uh, I was kind of on the fence about doing contour stuff because I don't really contour. I have a very, I'm fat and I have a run face. So contouring, it can be very difficult. So, but I do have some products that, you know, I do have to keep around in case I get the itch to do so or when I'm contouring my nose. I do do that because I don't, foundation kind of just makes everything look flat. So, we'll get into that. Um, so to start off, uh, one of my problems with contouring is that I'm full cool tone, so bronzers or contour powders tend to be really warm. And when really warm products get on my skin, they tend to go really orange, and then I just look like an Oompa Loompa, and we're, we got, we've got problems way beyond that. So, I have two contouring products, and they are both indie. There's... Not much I can say about that. I use indie products for my contouring. So I'm going to start off with, I have a cream, kind of, and I have a powder. So I'm going to start off with the powder. The powder I have is Shiro Cosmetics. Do your research. It's from their uh, cheekbones line, and it's themed after uh, Sherlock Holmes, the uh, British show, which I love. So this is a cool taupey gray contour. And I'm just going to kind of pick some up. I'm going to show it off. And on the back of my hand, you can kind of see how it is. And that's not completely blended out. But when it blends out, it looks like a shadow. Which is what it should do. What your contour should do is it should look a shadow. So that is, uh, do your research. I like it. Uh, the problem is it is a loose powder, so when you use it, you need to be very careful about knocking off the excess because you can pick up a lot, depending on the brush you use. I use... Let me find the brush I use when I contour. When I contour, I use... i got a lot of stuff in this bit. I kind of use this. This is my go-to brush for everything. It is the Real Techniques Contour Brush. I also use it for blush and highlight, and I wipe it off between. I really need to pick up, like, three more of these things, but I use this brush. Um, if you want, you can use, like, an angled brush like this as well for it. You just got to be careful. I'm actually going to have my brushes handy. But apparently not there, because that's not handy. There we go. All right, so then, so I do that. The other thing I use is from Life's Entropy, and if you remember, I discussed their uh, highlighter in the highlighting video yesterday. This is the uh, Particle Contour Stick in the shade Gamma. It, again, is... I mean, what you see on the tube is kind of what you're going to get. It's a gray, taupey, cool tone shade. And I, I like it that it's in, like, a lip balm, because then I can twist it up, and then I can just quickly down the sides and get, like, a thin line. And then if I want to do a quick swipe, I can. I typically do this underneath my foundation uh, and blend it out with a brush or a beauty blender or my finger. So these are my two uh, contouring products. I don't usually contour, but if I'm going to, these are going to be what I reach for. Um, if you don't know what to use for a contour product, um, you can always use like a gray or a taupe uh, eyeshadow. And kind of go at it. Or uh, I see a lot of people use NYX's uh, Taupe Blush. Another great option. Um, I can never find it in either store nearby. So I'm like... And I could order it online, but I've got stuff and I don't really contour. So yeah, that's that. So uh, those are my favorites. If you like to keep up on me, my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram are all fueled by makeup. I also... My blog is fueledbymakeup.com. Pretty simple to remember. And you can also subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching.